out there, it's Terry with Blooming Ideas and I have another share video for you. Wanted to show you some items that I've been making for a design team that I'm on now through my blog, Moonlight Journey. They do lovely collage sheets. I'll leave a link at the bottom in the description area if you want to go and check them out. So one of the first things I did for them was some bottle cap earrings and this one I added bales to as opposed to poking holes in them a little pearl accent for this one. This one I accented with some feathers and then I remembered I had some of those key tags that you can get at the office supply store. Did a little feather uh, crimping, added also the little bales on them without having to poke the holes, a little decorative uh, bead and there you go. Really inexpensive and fun highlighting some of their collage sheets. Now, they were looking for someone just to do that, to take their collage sheets and make jewelry pieces. So I've done the earrings, and I also made a necklace, and I used a pendant that I probably was saving for a mini album, but I think this worked out better. So I used one of their images, I stepped her up a little bit, so there's still a possibility of me adding glitter glossy accents, but when I photograph it on my blog, I didn't want it to distract from the image itself. So that's how as far as I got with that. And then I repurposed an old necklace, some brass charms, and it just all came together color-wise. So I really like how that one turned out. Now I'm not locked into just doing jewelry pieces. I can do other things. So one of the other things I did is recently was take an old whiskey bottle. I took one of their perfume labels, covered up the front, and this is where I store all the extra in-between beads you get when you buy them from Joann's and Michael's or wherever. And I have access to trims through my design work, and I just put a little pearl up on the bottle's top and some trim and now I can have a pretty bottle to store my little beads in. One of the other things I did recently was make a journal and I used a Zutter binder. Really cool. I like these. First time I used it and I'm just so pleased with how and then I covered up where the rivet is. So I just took like maybe four different of their collage sheets, enlarged and whatnot. So that whole thing in the back is off of their um, collage sheets. And then I used some K and Company stickers that I had, just to give it a little something. Because I'm actually going to use this. I used another K and Company and ribbon right here to make the transition nice. A little gold string, a little bit of beading. Some bead trim, lace, made her dimensional, and like I said, I really like these because they're just so easy to clip down. So there's my little note taker, love that. And I like making tags. My friend Deb, she has the AccuCut that makes and cuts out the tags extra long, which is really good because then you can take your Tim Holtz on the edge dies and cut off and make it decorative at the bottom. So this year I made this winter one using one of their winter kids collage sheets. And again, I'll make links so you can check them out for yourself. A little glitter, some snowflake punch outs, pretty ribbon, lots of fun to do. And I think I showed these before, but I really do like making the winter theme tags because then you can use up all your sparkly stuff. Well, that's what I've been doing. I appreciate you stopping by and looking and we'll talk to you soon. Bye!